And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Fuck him, go, go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get past your idiocy. Today's a little bit different in the sense that this doesn't really have much to do with idiocy or getting over idiocy. It has to do with life and potentially saving a life and in saving that life uh, saving loved ones and family members the heartache of having to say goodbye to somebody too soon and I understand that it's almost always too soon but when you lose somebody in their 60s when people are regularly living into their 80s, 20 years is a long time to not have with them. So um, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, you you know, you saw the picture in the, in the beginning. Um, I'm dedicating this episode to my uncle, uh, John Logue, who passed away on July 4th. He was a long-haul truck driver for, I think, over 40 years. Loved his job, but there are aspects of the job that can increase health risks. And when you are sitting all day, you are increasing the likelihood of developing blood clots. And there are other factors that can contribute to that. Sitting for long periods of time are um, one major factor of developing blood clots. And when one of those blood clots gets thrown or a piece breaks off, it goes places it's not supposed to go and complications arise. Um, so today's episode is how to save the life of a truck driver. And I'm obviously focusing on blood clots, but... There are other aspects of the truck driver's life that increase the likelihood of blood clots. And this one is designed, I don't know how many truck drivers listen to this. I don't know how many truck drivers watch this, but if you have a family member or if you are a truck driver and you're doing those long hauls all the way across the United States and back, you're behind the wheel for four, five, six, seven, 10, 12, 15 hours, days at a time, um, this is designed for you if it can help one family or one person avoid kind of what my family is going through right now, then this was worth it because there are aspects of blood clots that are preventable and things happen, life happens, um, some things you can't avoid, but if you can help try to prevent them, I think that's, that's what we owe ourselves and what we owe our loved ones. So what is a blood clot? A blood clot is basically a scab in your bloodstream. It's formed to uh, help repair damaged blood vessels, arteries, and veins. So what causes blood clots? In general, blood clots are caused by heart conditions, post-surgery healing, especially if it's in, like in your lower body and you have to be immobilized, like casts or splints or your arms, your legs, or whatever, is just not moving. Your risk for blood clots increases over the age of 60. Other factors that increase risk of blood clots are um, obesity, being diabetic, having high blood pressure, smoking, and for all you truck drivers and families of truck drivers, experiencing prolonged inactivity, such as sitting behind the wheel. Um, I'm obviously focusing on that prolonged activity and how there are things that you can do to help the blood flow and, and reduce the chances of clotting. But keep in mind, the high blood pressure, the diabetes, the obesity, those are all smoking. Those are all factors that are prevalent in a truck driver's lifestyle. 
And those things are increasing your likelihood of not only developing a clot, but throwing a clot. Symptoms of a blood clot. And I'm focusing on the legs and then how, you know, once they break off from the legs, kind of where they can go. So uh, symptoms of, of blood clots in your legs are pain in your legs, redness, swelling, tenderness, maybe a warm sensation, or for possibly uh, bigger clots, you're going to see a, a paleness or a bluish color and then cooling because your circulation sucks. So those are signs that you have a blood clot. Those are, those are signs that you should get your butt to the doctor as soon as possible. Um, more extreme symptoms of blood clots, and these are more for if you've thrown a clot. So these are really important, like you need to 911 like right now. If a clot is thrown and it goes into your chest, your heart, you're gonna feel chest pain, you're gonna feel shortness of breath, nausea, sweating, basically the same symptoms if you were having a heart attack because the clot's thrown and you're having a heart attack. If you uh, throw a clot and it goes into your brain, loss of speech, loss of vision, possibly weakness on one side of your body because you're having a stroke, it goes into your lungs, you're gonna feel chest pain, you're gonna feel shortness of breath, you're gonna have a, a rapid pulse, you're gonna have rapid breathing, things just aren't gonna feel right. Um, if it goes into your intestines or, or other organs, you're gonna feel abdominal pain, nausea, and possibly blood in your stool. So these are all get your ass to the hospital, ASAP kind of things. So when you feel that chest pressure, when you feel the shortness of breath, you're having difficulty breathing, your chest aches, your back aches, because maybe it's possibly going through organs, you're dizzy, you're experiencing nausea, you need to call 911 ASAP. I don't think I can stress going to the doctor uh, enough, because um, last week was my last conversation with my uncle, and it started with me telling him to go to the doctor because he was talking about having some tightness in his chest. He was talking about having some um, kidney pains. And he had been kind of limping around for a week or so because his lower legs were hurting. Um, he said he went to the doctor regularly for his blood pressure medication and that he took some Tylenol and was feeling better. So I hope that sinks in because that was the last conversation that I will ever have with him. So please, if you're feeling those symptoms, please go to the doctor. Um, how to prevent blood clotting for truck drivers. One thing is drink plenty of fluids. I've been out on the road. I've seen you guys. I'm not talking sodas and Gatorades and Powerades and juices and all that other crap. I'm talking water. Remember, the diabetes and obesity and all that stuff are increasing your risk of having blood clots and throwing a clot. So filling your body with fluids that are horrible for you is not the best way to go. Drink lots of water. You need to move around. I know this is difficult. Your job is basically sitting for most of the time. Um, but what you can do is because you're drinking lots of water, you're probably going to have to pee a lot. So maybe instead of pissing in a bottle while you're driving, maybe stop every two or three hours. Get out, walk around, go to the bathroom. Maybe take an extra couple laps around the truck stop, a couple laps around the gas station. Get blood flowing a little bit before you get back in your truck and sit down and go off for that next two or three hours. Like It's little things like that that can really make a difference. Your clothing. I don't think this really applies to truck drivers, but don't wear really tight pants and clothing. I haven't seen too many of you guys out in like sexy skin tight leather pants, but just in case you're that one that maybe I haven't seen, loosen up the pants a little bit, okay? And I'm sure there's a lot of other reasons why you should probably not wear such tight fitting pants, but this is for health concerns, not just looks. When you sleep at night, one way to help uh, the blood flow is to elevate your feet a few inches above your chest, maybe throw a pillow, you know, roll up a jacket. Um, have something at the other end of the bed to get your feet up a little bit and that will help the, the blood flow get 
out of your feet and through the rest of your body because you do it every night. You'll be sleeping, you know, six, five, six, seven hours. That's a good amount of time to, to help the circulation in your system. Compression socks. These are things that you can find pretty much any Walmart or Target. They're usually in the travel section, but they compression socks are not difficult to find. They're only a couple bucks, but they help keep the circulation and push the blood flow back up through your body, which is something that's really important for, for truck driving. And these aren't things, I'm not giving you things that you do, these aren't just do one or the other. Kind of apply all these things together, you know, move around, go to the bathroom, drink the fluids, get the compression socks, like do all these things to help uh, prevent that blood clotting. And now for the part that you probably don't want to hear, is just your overall health. You need to lose weight. You need to stop smoking. You need to eat better. You need to limit your salt intake, especially if you have blood, uh, high blood pressure. You need to take your medications for high blood pressure and whatever else you have going on. You need to handle all those things because the obesity, the diabetes, and the smoking, and all those things are going to increase your likelihood of developing a blood clot in your legs with your job that's already going to increase your risk of having a blood clot, all those things are going to make it worse. And we're saving lives here. We're trying to save a life if we can. So please take it seriously. Please. And I know the not smoking and the diabetes and the losing weight and all that stuff, it's all stuff you've probably heard before, but take it from somebody who is going through it right now. And... Take it from a family member of a family that's going through it right now. Um, please take it seriously. Take your health seriously. Take your loved ones seriously. Give yourself and, 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 and your family the respect that you deserve to be around. Um, you know, you can't stress just a few extra days, some extra time. That's all you're going to want. That's all they're going to want in the end. It's just a little more time and you can give them that and you can have that by, um, by taking this seriously. Um, my uncle's never going to see uh, my cousin walk down the aisle and get married. He's never going to meet his grandchildren. But those are things he's going to miss out on, but not only him. The rest of us miss out on that too. The rest of us don't have him at Christmas. The rest of us won't have him. His grandchild won't won't have him at their birthday parties. He's not going to be at my cousin's wedding. And these are all things that could have been prevented. These are all serious things. This is why you take care of yourself. These are, are I'm giving you things to to help you kind of take control and not have to go through that and not have to put your family through that one of the hardest parts is going to be the diet thing so if you have any questions on diet and, and what you can eat on the road i'm more than happy if you want to comment me in uh, the section below if you want to uh, find me on snapchat and twitter dm and ask about different foods i mean you could be sitting in line at the at, at a at a menu going, what should I order? And I can help you pick out those orders. And this is not about me selling anything. This is me about helping you guys out because this week has been really shitty. And this is gonna take a long time to get over. So if there are people out there that I can help just with some information, with taking a couple minutes of my time to, to help you out, I'm more than happy to do it because um, I know you truck drivers out there bust your ass. I know you guys work real hard. And I don't know if you guys understand kind of the toll it takes on your body. But if these things can help you and I can give you more information, I, I would love to do that. And the last thing is please be honest with yourself. It can happen to you. It might be something that seems like a... Um, like it's unlikely, but it can happen to you. So please take this seriously. Um, please take this, the background for this blog, this vlog, seriously. Because it sucks. Like this, this really sucks this week. But be safe and 
live safe, and drive safe. Over and out. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black hands go. <laughs>